Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today and this mod is called the crafting guide mod for minecraft 1.4.5 This mod is a really awesome mod. So I am officially back from my little small three-day break uh, I was just out with family and having a blast and shut up water and uh, like I was gonna say this mod is really awesome So how about we start talking about this mod? Oh, I'm just trying to review a mod guys. Come on. Stop trolling me Man, you gotta hate Minecraft's nature. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the crafting guide mod. Once you install this mod, this mod not only works single player, but it should work on multiplayer. What you have to do is once you install this mod, go ahead and click on the key G. Once you click on G, what is this? This is like a replica of Risugami's recipe book, but it actually opens up as a, you know, nice GUI. Over here in the bottom right corner, you'll see that there is a blue arrow. You could resize this bad boy. Look at that. This is like some futuristic stuff right here. You could grab the little arrow that's located down here and make it bigger so you could just extend this to whatever you like. That's actually awesome. I've never seen a mod that actually extends the GUI. Anyways, what you could do is just like in Risukami's recipe book, you could just scroll down and see all of the crafting and you could also see all of the alchemy and all the furnace and all that stuff. So here's all the furnace you see how to, you know, make cooked pork chop. Uh, not sure why you want to cook a pork chop, you know, that's actually, that's really mean. But uh, if you scroll down, you can see all of the, hey, you could actually smelt diamond ore. Oh, uh, probably if you have like a silk touch, you could probably get the block. Anyways, you could scroll down, see all of the alchemy. And also, if you have mods installed, you could actually see how to craft stuff from mods. So it's just like Risukami's recipe book, but uh, you could just do a lot more. Like filter out some settings. If you click on this tab right here, you can filter out some stuff. If you just want to see crafting, you could just leave it like so. And you could take off furnace and alchemy. So let's go ahead and take this off. So it only shows crafting recipes. So there there we go let's scroll all the way down this is basically everything from the crafting so if you don't want to see any furnace if you don't want to see any alchemy you can see how to make yourself anything and just like Risugami's recipe book now if you have any mods installed like I said scroll all the way down and you should see that there is a new crafting recipe like right here there's a crafting guide which you could craft for this mod with paper some books and a crafting table and let me go ahead and go over here and grab that it's just like you know the recipe book you grab that and you can right click and it does the same exact thing it just opens up a GUI with all of the crafting or you could just press the letter G which I would just recommend to do so here's the letter G and you don't really have to mess around with the input output and machine that's really nothing I've just been messing with this and nothing has changed but if you untick this output then you're not really gonna get any crafting recipes so just leave it like so and uh, also if you click on an item let's say if you're interested of knowing how to get yourself a stick you just click on stick and it'll tell you how to make yourself sticks now if you want to go back to the previous uh, you know menu you just click right here clear so click on clear and it'll take you back to the first menu and you can see how much rows it is out of how much items there are so uh yeah so let me go ahead and filter out the crafting and I just want to see alchemy and let's go back to recipe list and scroll down and this is all of the uh, you know alchemy I've never messed with alchemy because look how confusing it is I'm not sure if anyone's a master of alchemy uh, maybe you guys go back and forth to the Minecraft wiki. I'm not even sure. I've never messed with alchemy before. Hey, you could actually make some splash potions for night vision while you're in survival. I did not know that. I thought that was just a creative thing. But anyways, let's go here to set item. Now in the set items tab, you can filter out everything you need to know about one specific item, such as a diamond. You want to see what you can make with the diamond, what you could uh, use for a diamond, all that good stuff. So let's go down to diamond. I'm going to scroll all the way down and here's a diamond. So I'm going to click on the diamond and there isn't anything checked off because this is why the input output and machine is used for so let's go to output what can you use in order to obtain diamonds such as a diamond block you'll get yourself nine diamonds a diamond ore will give you one diamond so let's take off output and go to input what could you craft with diamonds there you go look at the huge list of what you can make with diamond such as a jukebox you can make yourself a sword and that is it you could just make a whole bunch of things and let's see machine is there anything on machine nothing for machine but uh input output and that's it you can filter anything you like and see how to obtain diamonds and see what you could craft with them so now that i mentioned everything that you probably need to know about the crafting guide that is pretty much it about this mod once you have installed this mod it's actually just like risukami's recipe book but uh the gui could extend and whatnot and you could filter out things which is pretty interesting so how about we go into a server which i just found in planet mine 
Minecraft today. So there we go. I couldn't connect to this Minecraft server, so I found me a different one in Planet Minecraft. So I'm going to go into this server. It's a PvP server. Not sure why I want to go into a PvP server, and I'm not ever going to go back to this server. So if you guys are interested of the IP, well, I'm not sure how you guys could obtain it. It's just a PvP server. Nothing really interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press myself G, and it should open up. This is the GUI while in a server. You just saw some maniac running past me, and you could see that I could extend this, and you could see all the stuff, and it just left off where I was with the diamonds. So everything you've been looking at, let's say you have yourself a previous setting that you want to come back to on a server, well then it'll bring back like as if in the diamonds. So now let's go to recipe and let's uh, go ahead and filter this all out and clear. And now we're back into the crafting recipes and you could just scroll down, see all the alchemy, all the furnace and all that good stuff. So while you have mods installed, you can see how to craft everything that you need to know with this crafting guide. So that is basically it about this mod. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod. I am now finally back. I will be uh, making some videos very soon. I want to get into different series and there's some lava down here. Maybe I should go PvP with these guys before I leave, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all of your support. Urgh! Oh man, he's so lucky. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for reading this video. I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and install this mod. I know where you're at! I'm not dumb! Blood. I apologize of what you just witnessed right now. I know, it's scary. But hey, you know what? Steven's back! My buddy! Anyways, he was featured in Minecraft Daily Episode 22 with Kevin, Ashley, and my buddy Slopox. So, uh, yeah, you could go ahead and watch that. And be sure to check out the newest, latest Spooky Craft because Episode 30, Episode 30 coming down the door, guys. You better come and watch it because... Uh, I am. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's just install this. Whatever you guys are gonna install. Whatever. Just, just take it away, Steven. Just take it away. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install, so it shouldn't have any errors. But the first thing I'm gonna want to, of course, before installing this mod is go here to Options and Force Up to Me Game. The reason why I'm gonna force Up to Me Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will go black screen and you won't be happy. So Options Force Update and Login to download a brand new Minecraft.jar in which we're gonna mod. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this updating, so I'm gonna minus this, and you guys are gonna get the downloads from my description it's gonna take you to my website you're gonna get mod loader and the crafting guide mod so go ahead and get these two downloads from my description and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and once you have the downloads let's go ahead and install this mod I'm gonna go here to start search the program file I'm gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users somewhere around here you should see run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see John Minecraft the very top all right, so go into your DOM Minecraft folder. Now you're going to see bin, resources, save, and everything else. Go into your bins folder. Before you open up your Minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder, you have to make sure you have your Minecraft game closed. Here's my Minecraft game that I just force updated. Oh, okay, Pigman. Nice. So anyways, uh, this, is the for this is the mod that I just... Ah, dang it. What am I, what am I saying? This is the Minecraft... I apologize. Stop it, pork chop. Stop it. Oh my gosh. So uh, this is my game that I just uh, updated. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and exit this off before you installing in any mods. So now what I'm going to do is right click my Minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder. You're going to open that up with WinRAR. So open up your Minecraft.jar with WinRAR and go ahead and move that aside. Inside your Minecraft.jar, you should have a folder called MetaInf. If you do have a folder called MetaInf, well then, hold on, let me go ahead and change this. Why is it? Oh, there we go. So anyways, inside your Minecraft.jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. What you have to do is delete it. You have to delete MetaInf. So right-click MetaInf and delete files. Make sure you delete MetaInf. Say yes and delete MetaInf. All right, so now what you're going to do is open up Model Loader. Double-click Model Loader and move it aside. You're going to see a lot of files from Model Loader. And you're just going to highlight all those files that were inside the ModelLoader.zip. And simply drag them all into your Minecraft.jar side, wait a little bit, add and replace, press OK, and you are now done with your mod loader zip and your Minecraft.jar zip. So go ahead and exit off both the programs. Now what you're going to do is now you're going to go back onto your .minecraft folder with bin, resources, save, and everything else. If you don't have a mods folder, you have to create a new folder called mods. So right click, new, and folder, and you're going to call it mods with M. Oh, DS, press enter, and there you go. So, bins, mods, resources, save, and everything else. Go into your mods folder that you just created. All right, so what you're going to do inside your mods folder, all you have to do is just drag over the uh, craft guide 
the crafting guide, whatever it's called, and that's it. Once you have dragged over the zip inside the mods folder, then it should be able to work and you should be able to play and have a blast. So that is basically it about this mod. Let's go to single player, go into new world we like, and here we are. This is oh so beautiful. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna press G and it should obviously open up the uh, crafting guide. And there we go, just like make it crazy and whatnot. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy this, uh, you know, mod. And it's a very small mod, but uh, there wasn't really any mods that uh, I couldn't I couldn't find any good mods because I haven't been searching in the forums for like three days or so. So if you guys have a particular mod that you guys want me to review to check out and all that stuff, well then uh, be sure to post a video. Oh no, not a video. Post a comment. What am I talking about? I'm losing it today. Anyways, just post a comment what mod you want to see next. And that is basically it. I just broke my legs right now, so I have to go to the hospital. So I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.